Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're going over a plugin, okay? I have a series. If you're a builder, you need this plugin. And uh, we have a very good one that just got released. So let me show you guys what is up. Also, uh, right, right, before before we get into it, can you make sure to drop a like on the video, guys? It does help me a ton. It helps me get into the algorithm, as well as drop a comment below if this is a plugin that you're going to end up using. Check it out, guys. Power selectors, selecting parts made easy. Now, if you know Blender, there's tools called Circle Select and Box Select, which I'll go ahead and show you guys those real quick. I'm opening a random Blender file. I, I don't know which one this one is, <laughs> but it, there's already some sort of a model in it. Okay, so this was my hat. Let me just go to layout. Let me delete this guy. Okay, so if we go into here and press edit mode, we could press C for circle select and we could just kind of drag over and it's a very good selection tool. And if we press B, we can do box select, which is another very good selection tool. Helps you get everything you need to at once. So these tools are now gonna be in studio with this plugin. Let's check it out. All right, guys, features circle select. Select parts in a circle. Shift to remove the current selection. Control, scroll up and down to change size. Okay, so the same as Blender. Look at this, and that's in Studio. So, we have that, and then we have Rectangle Select. All right, and then some random information about hotkeys. So, let's download this and check it out in Studio. All right, guys, I have the plugin right here, Power Selectors, and I'm using my cafe build that I made the other day because this would have helped a lot in this build. Another thing that's very cool, well, I'll show you guys that in a second. I want to explain the difference between these tools in Roblox selection mode. So keep in mind, this is grouped up. It's a model now, okay? So there's a bunch of stuff inside the model and everything's grouped up. With Roblox selection, you can hold Alt, okay? If you hold Alt and then you can click each individual one and then Shift Alt if you want to collect multiple, okay? While it's in a model. As for box selecting with Roblox, if it's in a model, you can only select the whole model. We cannot select part of it, but if we go up here to circle select, look at this, guys. So say I want to grab all of these parts. I can literally just like that. And oh, I accidentally grabbed this in the window. Let me do control and scroll in to make it smaller. And if I hold shift, I can unselect stuff. So check that out, guys. I didn't want to select that. So let's get rid of that. And look at that. I also didn't want to select this or this. All right. So look at that. And if we wanted to select these, we just hold, or I guess we don't have to click shift, but we just grab them like this, scroll over them and look, guys, that's so nice. And then we can just turn the plugin off and boom. We have all of those models selected. Very, very, very nice. Box select works the same way. Let me go ahead and show you guys that. Plugins, box select, or rectangle select. And as you can see, anything in this rectangle, it selects. Now, you might be saying, those same tools are on Roblox if an object isn't grouped. Let me show you the benefit of this plugin right now. We just ungrouped this model, okay? And within Roblox, there is a box select, but you have to go away from every model, so, or lock your ground. So let me go ahead and box select the front of this building, all right? There we go. But if we go inside this building, you can see Roblox has also selected everything inside the building and even everything behind the building. If you don't want this, look how OP this plugin is. We're gonna box select the front of this building once again. So rectangle select, grab the front of this building, and uh, I am going to get the textures, of course, because I am hovering over them. But look at this. It doesn't pick up any of the inside of the building that um, that has parts in front of it, I should say. Because, like, right here, uh, we went through the door, so that's why it selected the floor. And up here, those stick out the front. So that's the only reason those insides are selected. But it's so, so nice. This plugin is going to help me so much. And it's just going to make everything faster. You can scroll it up and make it huge. Say I don't want to select any of this. I'll unselect it. Scroll it back down. It's just such a useful plugin. I want to grab all those. Easy. This is probably my new favorite plugin on Roblox, guys. It's going to help a lot for pretty much every build I do, especially if there's a lot of little parts. So that is going to wrap up today's video. If you guys did enjoy and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.